Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech again. This is Kevin. So last week we have been discussing about the audio effect compressor. So for today we're going to discuss about another audio effect called auto filter. So if I'm going to drag this thing here, okay, oops, it should be inside the audio effects rack. So I'll put it there. So now you have two audio effects device in my audio effects rack so if I play it it would sound like this so not much difference if I remove this thing same so now I'm going to make adjustments on my audio filter auto filter sorry auto filter effect okay so first thing I want to do is I would adjust this to 8 milliseconds. Sorry, I was touching the compressor, not touching the auto filter. So again, put it inside the audio effect rack. Then this one should be at 8. And then this one is at default setting, the envelope. And then this one still at default. And then I would adjust this to somewhere around like So because of that, let's try. Now it sounds different. Because you're filtering a lot of the sound from this bandwidth up to here. So you have filtered, that's why it sounds now way differently. Then I would adjust the filter frequency to 1.41. And then the resonance to becoming softer my LFO is still in sine wave no changes in default then rate is at 0.11 Hertz and phase is at zero then I keep this to default value okay so what are the functions of this thing so basically envelope is this, this knob would control the extent in which your envelope affects the filter frequency. So this is your filter frequency, this whole length here. So this envelope would try to impact how it sounds like. So if you adjust this, if I increase, see, so I just set it to default at zero and then the attack again I think the the wording you see we have attack here you have attack here basically it's the same thing it's how quickly the auto filter will respond to your input levels uh, that tries yeah and then release is how long uh, or how quickly your auto filter responds to the input levels so that's that's the function of those so filter type okay 
this model is that the user select between low pass, high pass, band pass, not charm off band. Okay, so your filter type. Yeah, so here. Mm -hmm. It's going to have here. And then you will see I didn't uh, tick quantize because this button is to set on the filter's frequency modulation. Okay, so if you set it on, it will automatically update depending on the rhythm that you're playing and the beat quantization value. So that's how why how it works. Then um, what did else did we touch? I think um, yeah, filter frequencies. This knob sets the filter cutoff. That's why if we move it, you would see we you can do it here. Or you can just drag this thing. Actually, you can drag this thing up. You see, this one will adjust, or you can just give it back here. Yeah. Then, so if you increase this, it will be sharper. Then, if you lower it further, it will be more subdued. So I will set it back to 1.41. And then the rate is if you apply this thing, how fast is the um, LFO in hertz or bit subdivisions, depending on the selected mode. And then phase, this one, is uh, adjust the amount of offset between waveforms on the left and right. So if you have a waveform here and there, so it will adjust the amount of offset. So if we try to increase the rate, you put it zero yeah you don't hear much of a difference but if you change the face why you didn't hear much effect because this one is still set to zero but if you increase this now you can have you see this if you can hear it because I'm wearing a headphone you would hear the sound moving from left to right uh, of your headset. Now it goes to the left, going to the right. So if you adjust this face, then it will go, I think, faster. Yeah, I think that's the purpose of this thing. But if you don't adjust this thing, this uh, amount, you don't hear much of this sound. And then if you adjust the sound wave or the sound form, this one is a sine, this one is a saw. So the sound will be going up very fast and tapering down. This one is like up and down. Yeah, this one is low going up. And then this one is like an airplane. So I don't know what exactly that means, but usually I use waveform. So let's try the saw form. So that's the function of your auto filter. And then because we're cutting off the filter from this sound, the waveform from this part of your waveform, we can put another auto filter to cut off some of the waveform that you don't want here. So if we drag another filter here, then let's make some adjustments. So this time around, we're going to change it to this side. And then we're going to filter off some of those from this side. So I would change this to, I would not touch these things. I would just adjust the filter frequency to 2 to 1. Yeah. Then this one is at 20%. And then these are still in default settings yeah so now how it sounds like okay slowly get there yeah so that's the function of the auto filter 
um, audio effect. So I think that's about it for this video. I hope you learned something. And if you want to see, I mean, if you learned something and if you like the video, please click like. And then if you want to see my other videos, click, please click subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and bye.